Right, so one of today's jobs on the van is going to be changing the battery over. I've had the van about a year and uh, it's always started 99% of the time, uh, but I haven't really used the van much for the last month or so and the van did fail to start. Uh, when I first bought the van it was a bit sluggish so I did swap the starter motor over. That was one of the very first jobs that I did on the van. So I know the starter motor in the van is fine. And I've always had a bit of concern with the battery that was in the van when I bought it, just because of the size of it. Uh, I've been out and bought the replacement battery. If you look at the size of that, compared to the one that's actually in there, you'll have a look when I take it out in a minute. But the battery that's actually fit to this van at the moment is only a 40 amp hour battery. And that's probably more suitable for something like a Fiesta or a Lupo, or something like that. Not a great hunking 2.5 diesel van. Uh, when I took it down to a shop to get it tested, uh, they even had a little chuckle when they found out what type of vehicle this battery was connected to. So, it's been tested, it's charging 100% but it's only holding around about 60% capacity during that charge, so it's definitely had its day. And I say it's been in the van for at least, well, I say I've had the van a year and uh, I've had the money's worth out of it, put it that way. I uh, went out and bought a proper Bosch one, this is a Bosch 80 hour cra uh, battery comes with a three-year warranty as well uh, it's the 110 version so i say that's a, a nice big strong uh, good branded battery so i'm just gonna have to get the old battery out and get that one fitted in so to get the old battery out first off you need to take the air box cover off that's just got two clips either side at the top they just go off and the box lifts up and out after that you need to take the air pollen filter off that's just got a couple of clips at the top and another one down the side and that comes off as well and as you can see there the size of that battery compared to that one there's a hell of a size difference that's only a 40 amp hour that's an 80 amp hour so as you can see I'm pretty much going to be doubling the size of the battery power going into the van so you need uh, on these particular clamps I need a 10 mil hair uh, socket set just to get the uh, battery clamps off then there's a retaining clamp there that needs a 13 mil socket head to undo that one so i'm just going to get the battery clamps unscrewed get those off i'll get the 13 mil out and i'll show you where you need to unscrew that for the actual bracket and we'll get the battery out terminals off so now there's just the retaining bolt uh, for the uh, battery retainer plate there that's also got some fuses inside there as well but just down there I don't know whether how easy you can make it out but it should be a 13 mil so uh, nut just about see it poking through there it's easier to get to that with an extension bar so I've got uh, a 13 mil bit with an extension bar that's just gonna go on the uh, socket set there and then we'll be able to get that one undone and uh, release the battery. now free as well so this fuse panel slash retaining bracket should be able to just lift away from the battery as you can see so now that should allow the battery to slide out and up and away So there's the old battery out and as you can see there's a hell of a size difference between the old one and the new one the new one's pretty much almost double the size and it's twice the capacity so in effect it actually is double the size internally externally it's pretty much twice the size as well uh, i've taken the side slider just out there as well off the battery protector cover just to make it easier get, to get the battery in and out so now the old one's out it's okay to get the new one in and reverse the procedure
Right, so that's all of the connectors and the securing bracket in place. So now it's just a case of putting the battery box back in, the air pollen filter, the surround, and then give it a test fire. So now that's a completely fully swapped out battery with everything else back in place, all the cables back in place, the air fo pollen filter, the only thing left to put back on now is just a little plastic cover that goes over there and again that's just the battery the actual surround protector. So I'll just go and grab the key, give it a fire and see if it fires up. So when I was trying to start it up before uh, there would be lights on the dash but as soon as I would turn the key uh, the lights would just go out. So let's have a look what's going to happen here. Lights on the dash and give it a turn. Fires up straight away. So I say last time round it was literally as soon as I turned the key, uh, the lights would just cut completely on the dash. So that's the first time it's fired up in about the last three weeks or so, so that's a good sign. Uh, so that is my battery completely swapped. Give the, need to give the van a good run out because as I say it hasn't really been used in the last month or so so there we go that is a brand new S4 110 80 amp hour uh, full three year guaranteed Bosch battery fitted in a uh, crappy old 40 amp hour Lion battery that's been in there for god knows how long that probably came out of a Fiesta out test fired all working so there we go that's so all I've swapped my battery in my VW T4 relatively easy it's about a 10 minute job if that's something like that Hope you found the video useful. If you did, uh, please do subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be documenting everything that I do with this van on my channel. All the conversion work, paint work, uh, mechanics, everything's getting documented on there. So have a look at my channel for other van videos and do subscribe for future videos to come as well. Thanks for watching. Cheers.